This may well become a bit of a series, actually, with some of these new Wherewood stages, just because I know they are posing a lot of people problems. I get a lot of comments, actually, on the old Wherewood videos I made, like, years ago at this point, asking how to do some of these stages. I get private messages on them. So I thought doing some of these harder to complete stages that have popped up with the new system could be helpful to a lot of you out there. So again, this is going to be only covering the free-to-play commanders. There will be no pay-to-win commanders in this whatsoever. Everything used here is obtainable through, I believe, one uh, recruitment pass with the Grey Egbert and Wintum, and then everything else is just through the Werewood tree directly. So this is a very different stage compared to 246, which is the previous stage I covered in the last video. There is only four commanders on the enemy side this time, rather than six. But instead of there just being one Bosch unit in the Night King, there is now a second with this White Cavalry, who has a lot of tanky abilities there, where he has a stacking defense increase every two seconds, and also a fairly chunky hill that goes off every one and a half seconds as well. The White Bowmen in the back have no abilities whatsoever, and the Night King will have pulsating AoE damage on his first and third abilities, and then his second ability will be effectively a 100% healing reduction applied to your entire lineup. So those two things together obviously make it very difficult because he's dealing a lot of damage to you, at the same time not allowing you to heal at all. So there's two ways we deal with that. One, we have Egbert, who applies shields and damage reduction. They are not affected by healing reduction, so... We can get the benefits of him regardless of that second ability, but also we're going to want to deliberately wait for that second ability to cast, and as soon as it does, it will pop up with a little animation with a purple downwards arrow, saying, I believe, heal bonus with a downwards arrow. As soon as that pops up, we're going to use genes active on our entire lineup, and that will cleanse the healing debuff. As you can see there, it removes all debuffs for five seconds. And as soon as that goes off, we're going to queue into Sansa's heal to help keep everyone alive. So we cleanse the debuff of Jean, we heal with Sansa, and then in the intermittent time, before we can cast those two actives, we apply Egbert's damage reduction onto everything. And between those three, we should be able to keep our lineup alive quite easily through that. The next issue of this fight is it is a very high DPS check if you don't play it correctly, purely because of how hard to kill this white cavalry is. So to minimize that, we're going to, one, ignore these white bowmen in the back as much as possible and only kill them with AoE damage. So Varus has a conal ability, Winton has a conal ability. They will primarily just take these down naturally as you're dealing damage to these two melee units. And we're going to want to very deliberately focus down the White Cavalry first. This is because the earlier he dies, the less effectiveness he's going to get from his healing ability. Of course, the, the sooner he dies, the less he can heal. So the more damage we have to go around these three commanders at the back. To counter his defense increase there, we're going to use Winton. He has a buff removal on his active ability and passively. So that's going to really negate how much defensive attributes gets funneled into him. Winton also reduces healing for everyone on the battlefield as well, so that will also help minimize his Fearless 2 ability there. Now this fight may look quite easy when I go through it, but if you don't deliberately counter these mechanics like I am going to show here, uh, it's not as easy as it seems to be. So we're going to Wait with our Sansa ability there. You see we're at full rage. But instead of just using it directly, we're going to use Egbert and his damage reduction and everything. And then wait for the heal reduction pop-up to appear. Then we're going to use Jean's Cleanse. And then we're going to use Sansa's heal. So we saw their heal bonus down. So we cleanse everything. Then we Sansa heal. And we're just going to funnel all the damage we can into this White Cavalry. We just did a buff removal into the White Cavalry of Winton. So we need genes active to come up, there we go, let me heal again, and we just keep 
hammering away at this white cavalry, and he's gone. He is very, very difficult to kill, typically, if you don't do this Winton strategy to get rid of those defensive buffs. That really does seem to trivialize uh, how difficult he actually is. He does not normally go down that easily, and I believe that is primarily why people can struggle with this stage a decent amount, but you can see when you do counter him properly, it's it's a breeze, it goes down easily enough, and then we're one step closer to the end of the new Werber tree.